Refreshing Stories. Hello, everyone. My name is Kana. I'm an ordinary housewife living with my husband, Ryosuke, an office worker, and son, Haruto, who loves cars. He gets all excited just by talking about it. <laughs> Anyways, all of you probably know already, but my family was formerly a Yakuza, but are working regularly now. So I'm quite, no, actually, I'm wealthy. But I was determined not to rely on financial assistance once I had a family. Needed to be independent. Uh, mommy, I really want a Bensu, please! Bensu? No, I bought you a Maori on your birthday last year, remember? Why? Red told me today that his mom bought him a BAW. His mom buys him a new one every month. I told you, we have our rules, they have theirs, many times. So, just because he bought one doesn't mean you need to buy one too. Please don't misunderstand. I'm pretty sure you all are imagining a child-sized car, but I'm talking about Topeka, a small car toy that's very popular among children now. By the way, I mentioned our rules, but it refers to living in a cozy, secondhand single-family house, letting Haruto attend a regular school, and having things or wear things that fit our means. Well, it simply means to stay humble. I've had a hard time dealing with money troubles because of my parents' home, so I want to live peacefully as a normal family surrounded by nice and caring people, which thankfully became true, but there is always that one person who will cause you trouble wherever you go. Oh my, hello, Kana. Crap. Goodness, I could hear you from almost a mile away. <laughs> Hey, I guess that data was true then. The data in my book said that poor people are very loud. <laughs> this is Mrs. Nechi, Haruto's friend, Ren's mother. I call her the loud mouth and she is hated by my mom friends. She has this mysterious theory that she could look down on people who live in small shabby houses since she lives in a mansion. It's seriously so ridiculous. Oh, right. I heard from someone that you're going to be the leader among the parents at the kindergarten this year, too. Good luck. Um, yeah, I am. You must be having a tough time preparing for summer festivals and events. I know you're getting help, but I know people are making you do the tedious work because you're poor, right? Wow, how sad is that? What does being poor have to do with doing tedious work? I don't get it. Why? Because no one has asked me to do anything this whole time? Well, I understand that. Having a self-employed husband who makes 10 million yen yearly is a little hesitant to ask me for help. They probably also think it's rude to ask a rich wife to do such an average work like that. I mean, I'm willing to help, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> That's because you being there would disrupt the teamwork and wouldn't get anything done. I actually volunteered to be the leader. I thought that it would be great to be able to get along with other parents too. Oh, wow. Trying to gain popularity like that because you don't have money. How impressive. But that's so creepy. What are you trying to do? Please don't involve me. I'm not that low leveled, so. Ugh, what a disgusting person. She really irritates me to the soul. Anyways, Ren told me about you not buying Haruto the Topeka car toy. Are you serious? I was shocked to hear that. I always buy him as many as he wants. Don't you want to see your son happy? Oh, sorry to say that. You're poor, so you can't buy him one. I feel sorry for kids who are born into a poor family. Well, I need to go get my nails done. Bye, have a nice day. How dare she be nagging, trying to one-up me and make sarcastic remarks. I want to say something back every time, but if I do, there's a chance that something bad is going to happen to Haruto too. So I have no choice but to tolerate it and hold back. Actually, since she's Haruto's friend's mother, I need to get along with her, which is the number one thing I don't want to do, but it's for Haruto. Hmm, this is going to be hard. What's wrong, mommy? 
Oh, Haruto, nothing. I'm okay. Would it be okay if we came here early tomorrow? Mommy is a leader, so all of your friends' moms are going to gather to talk about what we should do for the summer festival and event. Yeah! The next day... Good morning, Ren! Huh? Haruto, good morning! Good morning! How are you doing today? Oh, Mr. Nechi, good morning. I'm doing good. I see that you're the one dropping him off today. That's right. Daddy's going on a business trip from now. Yeah. Hey, Ren, go say hello to your teacher. She's over there. Okay. Do you want to come with me, Haruto? Yeah. I'm going to say hi with Haruto. Mommy, I'm going with him. Okay, I'll be here. Business trip from now? It must be tiring. Yeah, uh, actually, the business trip is a lie. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yes, I took a day off from work. I see. Yeah, I'm going to Bensu to buy a car from there in a little bit. Oh, wow, a Bensu? Yes, when my wife and I were younger, we promised to buy a Bensu one day, and that's about to come true. I'm so excited. Oh my, how romantic. My job has finally stabilized recently, so I'm planning to buy one without telling my wife. I know that she'll be surprised and happy. I want to take that on video, so I'm buying a good camera too. OMG, I love that idea. She'll be so happy that she'll probably cry. <laughs> I hope that everything goes well, Mr. Nechi. I wish so. Can you please keep this a secret? You're the only one who knows about this, so... <laughs> yeah, of course. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. Wow, a surprise gift, huh? I hope it goes well. Then, one day... Mommy, mommy, look! What's wrong, Ren? It's a Bensu! It looks exactly like my Topeka car! How cool! It stopped in front of Haruto's house! Why? What? In front of Kana's house? No, it can't be. Maybe it's someone's next door. Wait, it is parked in front of her house. How is this possible? Hmm? Did Haruto's house buy a new Bensu? No, of course not. Bensu is expensive. Rich people like us only could buy this car. This is probably the next door neighbor's or someone else's that's parked here. A coincidence. There's no way she could buy this. Let's go. Okay. This Bensu is actually my former caretaker, Amao's car when he came to my house. Harto's thing these days is fighting and pretending to be a superhero. So I asked Amao to help me since I don't have that power and energy. But I never expected that Mrs. Nechi had seen it. Then a few days later... Mommy, look! There's a Bensu again in front of Haruto's house! It's so cool! I love it! I love the color! What? OMG, you're right! It's in the same spot again. Wait, it's a different one than before. What's going on? Wow, that means Haruto's rich! I'm so jealous! Can I buy a Topeka car next time in this color? Ren, let's come here tomorrow too and see if there's a Bensu again. This is weird. There's no data in my book that shows that a poor person like Ghana owns a super luxury car like a Bensu that I don't even own. OMG. Perhaps is she doing something illegal to have that much money? I need to find out. The next day... Ren, do you want to go to Haruto's house again to see the Bensu? It's probably there again. Yeah! Oh wow! It's a different color again, mommy! What? Why on earth is there a different one with a different color? Just why? Wait, I spied on her for a few days, but she didn't do anything suspicious at all, so... All I could think was that she is secretly really rich. Yeah, that must be it. Ugh, God! Can't believe she hid that from me and had the nerve to buy a Bensu that I don't have. She's been laughing at me behind my back. I don't forgive her. Oh, I will do something so that she'll regret what she has done. She better watch out. Ren, let's go home. Wait! Of course, the car that they both saw was the one Haruto's enemies were riding in. Well, it's not surprising that people will be puzzled about this. But Mrs. Nechi misunderstood this and is about to find herself in a terrible situation a few days later. <laughs> Hello! Oh, Mr. Nechi, you scared me. 
Hello, uh, how are you? Good! You? Perfect timing! I was able to pick up the car today, actually. I'm good also. The car? Oh, the Bensu? Good to hear. You must be excited. That's right. Everything's as planned. But I forgot one thing. I want to buy a bouquet for my wife. There should be a flower shop nearby, right? While I'm there, would it be okay for me to park here? Oh my, bouquet? How nice. Yeah, there is a flower shop just around the corner. And yes, I think it's fine. I often see my neighbors in trucks parked there. Plus, there's no signs that say no parking, so... Thank you so much. I'll hurry up. Bye! Please be careful. Okay, need to continue watering the plants. Flowers soothe me so much. Oh, that one bloomed. Yes! What? There's a different Bensu again. Hey, that's the model that I want so badly. Why does she have it? Does she know this and want to rub it in my face later on? Also, why is it parked a little far from her house today? Oh, I get it. She noticed that I come here often, so she wants to hide the fact that she's rich. God, how annoying. I'm so pissed. She's the evilest person I ever met. I'm going to tell all of the mom friends and make them hate her. I want to make her not want to stay in this town anymore. Hello, Kana. How are you? Oh, Mrs. Nechi, what are you doing here? I'm good. You? What the hell is that face? <laughs> she didn't want me to see this, huh? Too bad. Me too as well. Oh, this is Bansu, right? I have like three in my mansion, and all of them are expensive than this. Is this yours? Oh, this? No, of course not. This is my neighbor's. Well, even though I said that, I don't exactly know whose because I'm not that close to them. Wow, it's so obvious that she's lying. Her eyes are swimming and is sweating a little bit. She's so bad at this. I see. Well, I don't know whose it is, but this car is so small and crappy. <laughs> Look at it. What would even fit in here? I mean, seriously? <laughs> My mansion only has the large, new model ones, so this is like a doghouse compared to those. Mine could fit literally anything, and it's so spacious. Oh, wait. You live in a small house that's like a doghouse, so this is probably yours, right? Because it's such a perfect match for you. Don't lie. I don't know what you're saying. Hey, that's rude to dogs. And also to your husband? Oh, crap. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, nope. Nothing, really. Well, glad that you found your crappy dream car. <laughs> I'm wasting my time here, so I'll be going. Bye. Ugh. But I'm glad that she didn't find out that it's her husband's car. Phew. I'm so glad. I didn't want to ruin it, so... Mommy! Yeah, what is it? I got a call from Amo! He really wants to talk to you! Come quickly! What? Seriously? I wonder. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> Did she go inside? Now is the perfect time. Ah, uh, it's so great to be able to see the Bensu I really wanted up close. This color and shape, I love it so much. Why can't a wife of a self-employed husband with an annual income of 10 million yen buy it, but that stupid carefree wife can? This isn't fair at all. I don't forgive her. Oh, God. Huh? Wait, the key is in the ignition. Is today my lucky day? Hey, hold on a sec. I thought of something good. <laughs> oh, the car is gone. I guess he came back from the flower shop and moved it somewhere. Good. Back to watering the plants. At that time, this was happening to her husband's Bensu. Cross, hook, Uppercut? Ooh! OMG, this is so much fun! I could scratch this as much as I want! <laughs> I can imagine her devastated face when she sees her scratched up, ruined Bensu tomorrow morning! <laughs> I need to record that on my phone! So excited! <laughs> Maybe I should ruin it more! Should I try drifting? <laughs> huh? What's going on? Bensu-chan! Why are you moving that way? I want to move the other way. 
the handle isn't working. This isn't good. Oh no. Oh my. What just happened? Thank God. I just crashed into the wall, but there's a huge dent. I probably did too much because the car isn't turning back on. I can't go home then. The taxi is going to be a waste of money. Anyways, the... Th this is no big deal, because this is Kana's car, right? Yeah, she should take responsibility for this. <laughs> Actually, it was a good thing that this happened. She's got what she deserves. I should call her now to tell her some good news. Let's see how she would react. Hello? Kana, it's me. Mrs. Nechi? Hi. You seem like you're in a good mood. Did something exciting happen? Yes, I have some good news to tell you. Your Bensu has been completely wrecked, so I'd advise you to throw it away. Wow, I feel so bad for you. I believe it was new. Huh? My Bensu? Wrecked? What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend like you don't know anything. That Bensu parked near your house isn't your neighbor's. It's yours, right? Don't you dare lie to me. I know. The data in my book shows that rich people can see through lies. So just admit it and say that it's yours. I'm waiting. Huh? I already told you that it's not mine. And by listening to you, did you get into an accident or something and wrecked it? Yes, that's what I've been telling you this whole time. God, you are dumb as a rock. What? I'm seriously being honest. That's not mine. That car is your husband's car. You could ask him if you don't believe me. There's no way in hell that it is. Stop blabbing about nonsense things. You just don't want to take responsibility for this, huh? Uh, I'm not saying nonsense things. Your husband is actually in the middle of planning to surprise you by giving you that bensu. He's at the flower shop nearby right now to buy you flowers since he forgot and asked me if he could park it here so that you won't find out. I just happened to find out about this plan, so I did my best to keep it a secret for you, but, uh, I guess it's not going to happen. What? That's a lie. I don't believe you. I told you that it's not. <laughs> then show me proof that this is my husband's car. Right now. Proof. Where is it? Proof? Hmm. Oh, did you check the car registration? It should be under your husband's name. Car registration? Uh, this? Oh, crap! M my husband's name is on here! OMG, are you serious? OMG, this isn't happening! What should I do? Please, help me! Please! Speaking of the devil, your husband just came back? Hello? I heard a loud noise while I was buying flowers! Did something happen? Huh? Where's the car? Did someone- what the hell? My new Bensu! My surprise plan! It's ruined! Why on earth is the car wrecked like this? Uh, honey? Huh? Why are you here? Oh my god, please don't tell me that you're the one who did this! Um, about this. Um, I wanted to drive it and I sorta went the wrong way. I'm so sorry. What have you done?! I secretly bought you this and wanted to surprise you with a bouquet! It's all ruined now! I just got this car today and haven't even driven anywhere! Just around the block! Wait, you driving this means that you knew about it! How?! P please tell me that you're joking. D did I really ruin the car that I was supposed to get? Oh no! No! My precious Bensu! What have I done?! Oh, that sucks! This is all your fault, you know. How are you going to pay for this? The crime of ruining my first Bensu is heavy, so apologizing isn't going to be enough. How about buying me a new one? Um, hold on. Did I just hear that wrong? According to the data in my book, you should have at least three Bensu. What was it? The large new model ones? Oh, was that the wrong data? Crap, that was... Um, well, uh... Besides, you were the one driving the car without permission and wrecking it. So this is all your fault, not mine. I could pretty much imagine why you did that so you don't need to explain. Yeah. Gah! Stop acting like you won by saying that. So freaking annoying. You are the evilest person I've ever met in my life. 
I won't forgive you for this. You hear me? <laughs> hey, why don't we go to Bansu now and buy a new one? You could do that, right? What? Of course not! I bought it with a loan! Actually, rather than that, wouldn't a compact car with low maintenance cost be better for you? Huh? Why? Because it's easy to maneuver and park. You're a terrible driver and don't want to cause any trouble to everyone living here. So I think it's better to buy that kind of car. What? Seriously? No! Why are you saying that? You should regret what you've done. You're so lucky that no one got hurt. Even you. Also, look, the bouquet is safe. Here you go. This is my present for you. I don't want this right now. God. <laughs> uh, wait. Th then what were those Bensu that were parked in front of your house? I saw about three different ones. Why were they there quite regularly? That's what I want to know. Regularly? Oh, that. I really don't want to say this, but my family was a former Yakuza. Yeah. What? F former Yakuza? Yeah, their number one favorite car is Bensu. Uh, are you serious? Oh my god, then that means I'm so lucky that I wrecked my car, not theirs. Oh god, I don't even want to imagine if I did. I would have ended up in the ocean. Since then, Mrs. Nechi stopped one-upping me and making nasty comments towards me. She even stopped making that mysterious theory. However, there is real data that people like this tend to change their target and repeat the same behavior, so I told my mom friends to keep an eye on her. Anyways, this happened afterward. Huh? What is this? Oh my! Is it tapioca milk tea? My favorite! I wonder who is this from? It doesn't say anything, but I really need this right now. Thank you, whoever! I want to continue to cherish the little joys just like right now from now on. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!